In this 10 minute tutorial video, I will create this custom post type template with the Cadence Team Builder alongside with Advanced Custom Field plugin to make the custom post type and the meta fields. This is a dynamic template, so you can personalize based on your WordPress website visitors. It consists of three sections with this beautiful grid layout and with a call to action. I have this Cadence free theme template installed on my WordPress local website. I'm not satisfied with this about design and I want to design a dynamic about page for my visitors because they are natural curious to know who is behind the scenes. I will be using the ACF plugin feature to register a custom post type. To do that, navigate to plugins, add new, then search here for advanced custom fields. Is this one? Click to install, click on the active activate button. I will be using the ACF plugin feature, the new feature to register a custom post type. Post type is a great way to store data other than posts and pages for viewing them on the front end of the site. Click to add post type. You will see a screen with some basic settings for the post type. They will contain the team members names. The three minimum required information to create a custom post type are the plural label, the other require this singular, and the other one is post type key. To save you some time, just click the tab key on your keyboard. For this particular case, I don't need to use taxonomies. It's, it's public. Save the changes. If you enable the advanced configuration, you gain a lot of more extra control related to the post type. For this particular tutorial, I want to define under the supports these three items, title, editor, and feature image. Under the visibility, I will determine here the menu position to control the position of the menu item in the admin dashboard sidebar menu. The menu icon, this is the icon used for the post type menu item in the admin dashboard. You can use a URL or a dash icon class name. That's exactly what I'm going to use for this case. Next, we need to add some fields to the custom post type just created. All you have to do is to click on Add Fields. It will take you to a new field group to make the field group show up when editing a post of the new post type. I want to add one single custom field as I want to keep things simple so you guys understand the process. I want to add the role that each team member plays in the company. I call team member role. Then you need to define the ACF field type, which is a text field type. So select from this drop down and we're done. Next, we need to define exact location roles. I want to display this custom field so my post type is equal to staff. Next, to create the content to the custom post type, click the staff tab. I had in three random member profiles with the help of the ACF field just created. And here they are. The custom fields does not show up. That's exactly what we're gonna do next. To make your custom post type template, I will be using the Cadence Theme Pro feature called Cadence Elements. So before starting to design it, make sure you have first enabled. It's a Cadence Pro feature. It should be toggle on. Moving on, create a new Cadence Elements and the template Cadence Element function, function as a feature for building various page templates. It's actually what makes it as a theme builder. I click on template and you give it a meaningful name. I published and to get started, I added a cadence a row block, a one column a layout, this one with a max width enable from the cadence theme. And this will be the hero section containing the headline and the date of this post with the help of dynamic feature. To determine the height just select the advanced tab under the structure settings 
I define mine to be 400 pixels with a, this nice background color and a border, like that. I want my headline to be in the middle of this cadence row, so to do that, select the row layout and here align to the middle, then insert an advanced text. I want to align to the middle as well. Next, click on the cadence dynamic icon. This one from the content here, you select post that. Of course, you have a lot of options, but I'm going with this post date and then in the content source is where you defined your custom post type. So to me is, is this one. Just wait a few seconds and then insert head dynamic content. There you have it. To complete the polling, then I have, I have decided to insert three simple words before this date. It's just an idea. You should define yours. Also, you can highlight the post date. Press the space bar to give it an empty space. Okay, that's it. It's pretty good. All right, the next step is to bring up the three staff elements. So I will be using the cadence image overlay block and I will be pulling in the custom post type label and the ACF field. So click on the plus icon to add the three equal cadence block structure, this one. Then I search for the image overlay. I selected the image from my media library. You may need to adjust the over overlay settings by going to this panel to fetch the ACF field and the custom post type label. Simply press the dynamic content icon. The content is post title and then below enter your custom post type label. Select this icon to enter the text. Wait a few seconds, select it and have dynamic content. Next, I want to insert the ACF field. So click on this subtitle, select the dynamic. This time, select post, post custom field and insert the ACF. If for some reason it doesn't appear, just select these three lines, show fields. And there you have it, the team member role. And it should appear the public relations, which is her role inside the company. And then I have just duplicated the section content twice. And if you need to add more staff members, select the row layout, duplicate, and then adjust the top end and bottom padding. Okay, now that the dynamic part has been completed to make things easier, I'm going to use the Cadence Design Library available at the top to add a call to action section. So select it under the forms. That's exactly what I want. I select this one, wait a few seconds, and there you go. You can tweak some things, adjust the padding, and that's it. Simple as that. The template design is over. Now move over to the cadence element settings. In order, the element is used to as my custom post type template. All I did was in the placement, select replace single post and change the display to be single steps. You can also set the user settings to be visible to all users. It should work just fine now. This is the basic way to design and build a custom post type template by using the cadence theme. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.